today I'm going to teach you how to look after your fish. Important things you that you will need a filter or plant. If you have neither of them, in a few weeks you'll have dead fish. Rocks are not necessary, as well as a lamp, but it keeps your fish tank awesome and cool. As you can see, my fish tank has a lot of algae, but that doesn't affect your fish's health, and um, actually they'll eat it. But if you don't want it to be like that, clean it with a toothbrush. If you don't want to clean it with a toothbrush, get sucker fish, because they help a lot. And most of you will be wondering what fish are good for starters. Um, sword tails, the ones I had, the orange ones. Um, the fat ones are called colored tetras, although they are known for fin nipping. So if you want to keep them, um, I suggest like you only keep that type of fish because they are actually known to nip fins, and I've experienced that. You can see a purple fish, that one, this striped one. It's called a zebra fish. They're quite hardy, but don't keep them with the fat ones. Well, I do because I didn't know that they nip fins until I got them. And that's why this zebra fish has half tail. And anyway, fish are great pets. But you have to do research because um, some of them need to be in uh, different numbers. What I mean is, like, if you keep, say, Chinese soccer fish, you need at least four or five, not two, because they will die. Because in the wild, they're used to living in at least four or five, like, in a group. Um, this fat fish, I mean, pellet tetra, um, used to living in four, and I have four. In a group of four, and I have four. I'm not sure about these sword tails, but yeah, I went. I've been keeping them for a long time, and they're like, like at least two or three, maybe four. And water. That's really important because that's what they live in. If you don't have anti chlorine, um, leave the water overnight. Tap water. You don't want to waste your money using clean water because that's just too crazy. Well, if you want to, that go ahead. But that's not the kind of person I am. If you do have anti chlorine, um, put two or three drops in it. The water, I mean, like for one gallon, put two or three. Um, drops of anti -chlorine. It may vary with different types, but most anti you only need two or three drops. And thank you for watching. That's my first video on my fish.